The Bravos might have messed around and did it again. This time they're celebrating Ludacris, another Atlanta legend around these parts. Plenty of things going on right outside on the battery at Truist Park, and Ludacris is all the way involved, even handed out plenty of bobbleheads to the first two fans that strolled through the gates. And on the mound, Charlie Morton, 40 years old, 6'5", 235, out of Reading, Connecticut. He is 7-7 seven and seven on the year. Four and four at home. Doyle goes down. That's two outs. And that'll bring up McMahon. That's a base hit for McMahon. So two on with two outs. And that will allow Brendan Rodgers to hit. To the right side. Olsen stops it. Charlie has to hustle over. And he does. They get Rodgers comfortably. No damage at the top of the first. We go to the bottom of the first. Bradley Blaylock at a Grayson High School in Loganville, Georgia, is on the mound tonight for Colorado. For the 23-year-old, it'll be his fifth big league start. Remember, he had that one inning when he was with Milwaukee, and then he came on July 27th in the trade for Nick Mears. Right on right. Solaire sends it to center field. More shallow. Doyle on the run. A dive after catching it. It's out number two. That froze Brenton for a moment, but then he turned it on, made the catch, lost his balance, took a tumble, but held on to the ball. Ozuna the slugger having his best year in the big leagues, and he'll loop it down the left side. That's going to be extra bases, picking up his 28th double. Well, he's now reached base in 121 of 139 games this year. And he's aboard in scoring position for the left-handed hitting Matt Olson. Left center off the bat of Matt Olson, and Atlanta's going to have a lead in the bottom of the first. The throw off target, RBI double for the Braves' first baseman. And after recording the first two outs on just a few pitches, Ozuna doubled, Olson doubled, and then Darno draws a walk. Well, now Kelnick will try to pile on here in the first inning for Atlanta. Jared Kelnick turns on this. And that is headed for the chop house. A reservation for three for Mr. Keldick. Four to nothing. That was a terrific at bat. And Jared really needed that. And the Braves jump out to a four nothing first inning lead. Four pitch walk when you're winning four nothing will drive you nuts. Everybody gets frustrated by it. Now can he make those little in game adjustments that he talks about so often that have been a little bit up and down for him this year. And Sam Hilliard, who spent last year with the Atlanta Braves, had a really good series against Atlanta out in Colorado. Down the line, off the bag, that's a fair ball. Jones headed to third, Hilliard to second, ball kicks away for a moment. Here comes Jones to the house, Hilliard to third, four to one. So Sam Hilliard just continues to hit Braves pitching this season, and he gets the Rockies on the board for the first time in this series. Third K for Charlie Morton and with Hilliard at third back to the top of the order and Charlie Blackman. Charlie with a base hit to right and the Rockies will get that run home and Charlie Blackman has an RBI double. Hilliard had an RBI triple Charlie Blackman an RBI double and the Rockies cut that lead in half. Four to two Atlanta. You do get Williams to third two outs. Well, Marcel had a double last inning that started that four run rally and see what he can do here. On the ground to third, Mack on the backhand. And Bradley Blaylock bounces back nicely in the second inning. We move into the fourth inning. Atlanta with four in the first. The Rockies with two in the second. 2-2. Two -two. Yep, that's a strike. Well placed. There was really nothing Jones could do with that. Charlie Morton, six strikeouts. Of the six strikeouts for Charlie, that's his first via the fastball tonight. And he draws a walk. Third walk now issued by Morton. Now the catcher, Romo. Swing and a miss. And he goes down swinging. Strikeout number seven for Charlie Morton. Two down. Runner goes for second. Let's see. They got him. John Bacon on the call was waiting, but he does ultimately say that Hilliard is out at second base. Pitch is low, and there's ball four. Luke Williams with a one out walk. Michael Harris has an 11 game hitting streak against the Rockies. He's our Xfinity game changer. Out to shallow center. Who's going to take it? Nobody. Tovar tried to grab it, but it drops. He had his back to home plate and was trying to Willie Mays it, but it was coming down very steep. And as you said, it is a hit for Michael Harris. The Braves will take it. Two on, one out, and now here's Jorge Soler. And another opportunity. Tovar makes the catch, spins and fires, Ooh. and almost doubled off Williams. 
Chance to strand a couple of runners if you can get Ozuna. And this is popped up and playable for Tolia. So Blaylock's dealt with some traffic. The pitch count has risen, but the Braves have been held off the board since that four run first. Swing and a miss. He gets Tovar. Eight strikeouts for Morton. Brenton Doyle has struck out and flied to center field. There's a base hit to left for Doyle. Brenton Doyle gets hit number five for the Rockies. Speaking of Doyle's stolen bases, the Rockies as a team don't run much. He is third in baseball with the third highest percentage of his team's stolen bases. He has 35% of their bags. <laughs> Not going here as McMahon lifts one in the air. Foul territory, third base side, Urshela run. Did he get it? He did. Oh, boy. Right on the screen. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Braves still up four to two. No one out in Olsen at first. Six walks. Yeah, no strikeouts. There's your first strikeout. So Darno is dismissed. That'll bring up Kelnick. And back to back strikeouts. Still four to two after five. Another five inning outing for Charlie Morton. He struck out eight, walked two. He hands it off to Lee, making his 44th appearance in a 189 ERA for the lefty. So a strikeout and a walk to start the sixth inning. Tying run to the plate, Nolan Jones. Out to left center, Michael Harris over. Yep. You just come to expect it. It's not an easy play, though. Hilliard takes a look at a good slider. Strike three call. Nice job by Dylan Lee. Okay, so Jake Bird is on out of the bullpen. Ground ball outs for Jake Bird to start things here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Go back to top of the order and Michael Harris. Harris, this is going to go for extra bases. It dies against the wall before Hilliard can get to it. It'll be a double for Michael Harris, the second. Jorge Soler now. Up the middle. Soler, a solid single. Michael Harris around third. The throw is off target, and Atlanta now has a 5-2 to two lead. Well, Pierce Johnson, he did start to warm. He does come into the game, so it won't be two innings for Dylan Lee, just one. Now Matt Olson, as far as he can go, and over the netting. Did he steal some of Marcel's seeds there? Not exactly sure what happened. A little dust up between the boys having a little bit of fun right now. And Marcel threw some seeds at it. Good inning for the former Rocky Pierce Johnson. A 1-2-3 against the Rockies here in the top of the seventh. All right, so here's the situation. Seth Halverson is in here with two on and two out. Oh, oh man. gosh. Gas yeah. Halverson. How about, how about the movement at 101? Braves threaten they can't score to the eighth Rockies looking for some more offense down five to two strike on number 14 for the staff back to back K's for Jimenez boy Joe's been good in three of his last four outings he has struck out the side going one inning one two bouncer across the bag Williams great throw Joe Jimenez may not strike out the side, but he sets him down in order. It's still five to two. Rysel Iglesias has been the best closer in the game over the last six weeks, and he goes for save number 30 tonight. The strikeouts walks all been just terrific. I mentioned it's second best ERA in the game among relievers with 50 innings at least. Low with the changeup, ball four, two out walk. That extends the inning for the nine hole hitter, and we'll have a pinch hitter for the Rockies. This will be Jake Cave. Hilliard goes to second. The Braves will let him take the base. Iglesias fires. He got it. Braves win. What a great way to spend Luda night. As the Braves come up big and now just one win away from a sweep here against the Rockies. The bullpen fantastic again. Make it 20 straight scoreless outings for Rysel Iglesias. And those four runs in the first, including the three-run homer by Jared Kelnick, that's all the Braves would need. The pitching remains tremendous, as it has been all season long. 